Hey YouTube, my name is Archmage and this is Overwatch. Overwatch just released last Monday and there's a ton of hype around Blizzard's new title. Overwatch is a 6v6 arena based combat first person shooter. The market has been full of these types of games ever since Team Fortress 2 was released back in 2007. There are quite a few similarities between the two titles, the fun cartoony art style, cosmetic upgrades, and match types, so you're probably watching this in order to see if it's worth buying. Overwatch came out at a full release of $60 on consoles and PC. This game is another gym produced by Blizzard, and in my opinion it is worth the money, but let me tell you some of the pros and cons before you go off and buy it. Starting off with pros, Overwatch is a well-polished game that runs well on both PC and consoles. Compared to other arena-based shooters, the only one that I believe that can compete is Team Fortress 2. However, I personally like the quirky and different characters from Overwatch rather than Team Fortress 2, mainly because Team Fortress 2 is all about uh, soldiers, and Overwatch is more like a ragtag team of people that all know what to do and can help save the world, which is an awesome premise that has been overused, but we won't get into that. Um, speaking of the characters, or heroes, of Overwatch, there are 21 different heroes, which roles differ from support and builders to assault and snipers. My favorite heroes so far are Hanzo and Genji, the two brothers featured in the Dragons animated short. You can see me playing Hanzo specifically right now. Each character plays very differently, and it is fun to learn more about each one as you play them and how they interact with each other. Uh, even playing support, which I usually freaking hate, is fun with the different types of healers that are available. The next big pro is the graphics and art. As you can see, there are the levels and character designs are beautiful. I, even with the cartoony art style, it's just really well done. Blizzard really did put a lot of effort into it, uh, which is no surprise considering it's Blizzard. Um, and don't quote me on that in case something happens in the future. Anyways, um, each character has its own di uh, distinct art style, uh, voice, and feel to them. Um, this spreads to the real world locations the arenas are inspired from. You can be in Africa, then you can be in Japan, then you can go to Hollywood, depending on the match type that you're in. Um, and, and it's fun to find because there's little Easter eggs uh, from Blizzard's different franchises that you can go and find in the world, uh, from Heroes of the Storm to Hearthstone slash World of Warcraft. Um, and it's just super fun to go and find those things in the world. The last big pro are the game types. Overwatch has released with four different game types, Assault, Escort, Control, and Hybrid. All these feel very familiar to those of you who have played Team Fortress 2. Assault is an objective-based team deathmatch. Escort has you delivering a payload through different checkpoints. And the Hybrid is a combination of the two. Control is a type of King of the Hill match. Blizzard reps have talked about their plans to introduce other game types, but for now, those seem like a way off. Now for the cons. For those of you who have played competitive games like League of Legends, Battlefield 4, CSGO, all of those, you need to know that there is no competitive mode so far in Overwatch. Blizzard is planning on releasing a ranked matchmaking in late June, early July, but as of right now, quick match is your easiest way to get action. Not that way. Anyway, going with the competitive vibe, Overwatch server's refresh rate is around 21 Hz, uh, more like 20.8, which makes the game feel slightly unfair compared to Battlefield 4 and CSGO, which run on 60 Hz. The server response seems slightly sluggish. I personally don't notice it too often, but it may bug some of the, you who are used to Twitch response times. Overall, I feel the pros greatly outweigh the cons, and I have greatly enjoyed my time playing Overwatch, and I only think the game will continue to improve. I give the game a 9 out of 10, and I greatly recommend this game, especially to anyone who likes Team Fortress 2 or other competitive titles. Thank you for watching. If you like my review, please hit the like button, subscribe, and share. I'm a new channel, so every bit helps. As always, have a great day, and happy gaming. Ahead. Sniper! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.
complete. 